G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. Now uh, today in front of me, you can see that I've got this uh, drone here. It's called the 6857G, or it's got just drone 57G on the box there. Now, um, I purchased this drone quite a while ago, actually go and buy my first videos on it. I think it was back in uh, September 2018 where I purchased this one. Sorry about the autofocus, guys. I'm using my Android phone, so it might glitch in and out with the zoom or with the focus. But, uh, yeah, uh, I believe I'm still the only one that actually reviewed this drone. I purchased this when it first came out, and um, I don't believe, I don't know why, but uh, this drone didn't get marketed at all. Um, I made a review video and a couple of follow-up videos on this one, and it's actually a pretty good uh, brushed GPS uh, toy grade drone for beginners. It actually flies really well, very stable, does everything it's uh, meant to do as far as feature-wise, smart features, follow me, orbit, stuff like that, and uh, really good flight time. Well, it had a really good flight time, which is why I'm making this video. Uh, the reason I say had uh, is because the battery on this one, it came with one 1000 milliamp hour 2s lipo and in my initial review it got around 18 18 and a half minutes of flight time which was pretty you know pretty impressive from a little 1000 milliamp hour pack but uh i went to fly this about six months ago a few months before christmas and um when i went to charge up the 2s lipo that came with it it had one completely dead cell out of the two so it was totally buggered. I couldn't, uh, you know, I tried to put on a charger and it, and it didn't charge at all, that particular cell. So it was totally dead. So um, <coughs> that left me, excuse me, that left me with no uh, lipos for this one. I did have one lipo that fit, a rather old uh, 2S with a JST plug. Uh, but that, I did try fly it with that. But being that it was an old battery, it just wanted to land. There was a, a prompt on the app saying low battery voltage within a few minutes anyway so um i had no batteries for it that would actually fit in this uh in this uh battery bay so anyway the other night um i was thinking well what could i uh do as far as getting this one to work so um i was looking through what i had here and uh you guys will probably remember this uh drone that i reviewed last year the Heron X16 from JGRC. This was absolute garbage. It uh, claimed that it had a 6K camera, which was a total joke. It's got a rubbish, uh, I think, 480p resolution camera in it. And this was actually absolute garbage and a very dangerous drone to fly. And here it is here, guys. I'm going to actually toss this one out. I just thought I'll keep it to show you, um, you know, on this video. But I am actually going to throw this in the bin. It's absolute garbage. I already trashed the uh, the transmitter because uh, that was garbage as well. So um, anyway, what I did uh, notice last night was that I thought I might try to use this battery because this battery is uh, 1450 milliamp hour. And as you can see, it's a modular battery. It's a proprietary battery, but it's actually got a fairly decent LiPo inside. So um, all I did was unscrew it, and I ended up with this. This is the final product, guys. Um, it's uh, Here's a LiPo here. Now, I've put cloth tape around it, but uh, all I did is um, put a JST plug on the other side of the circuitry board, and it actually works with this drone. So I can still charge it as normal um, with this uh, USB connector. So, you know, I can charge it from there and then I can get power to this drone from the JST. And this one actually fits perfectly in there, guys, like that, okay? So what I'll do, I'll show you the inside. I'll quickly open this up and I'll show you the inside of this uh, battery and um, what it's like, uh, where I tapped into Okay, so it was just a matter of taking the five screws out and then separate this casing, okay? And uh, then you're left with the actual LiPo here. So yeah, I just thought I'll make use of, 
I could see the casing was pretty thin on this one. And that's what made me think, well, inside it's going to be a LiPo that would probably fit the drone. So, as you can see, it's got a 1450 milliamp hour, so it's bigger than the original battery that came with this drone. And it's actually a high voltage one, 7.6 volt. So, um, there's the little circuit board. Okay, so it's got the three wires for the charging. Um, there is the USB, the micro USB uh, charger. And on this side, this is where the drone actually clipped in on the JJRC X16 to get power. All right, so basically all I did, I got a JST male wire. Okay, and on the back of these soldering points, I just uh, tapped into here. So I just uh, soldered the red wire in line with the red and the negative with the black. Okay, and then I ended up with, with this here. Um, what I did do also is I kept just this small portion of the casing just there. So I basically cut where this label ends. I cut from there down just all the way around so I could use the screws to mount this uh, casing. So the circuitry board is not exposed. I could tuck the circuitry board within that casing. So I still got to make this one, obviously. I haven't uh, done the JST mod to it, but uh, yeah, we just put it together. I mean, and I just had cloth tape to uh, cover it all up and uh, it fits perfectly, guys. So I'll just um, pop it in here and I'll fire it up. Okay, can pop it in there like that. And there you go. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'll recycle something from a crappy drone <laughs> and uh, get this one going. Okay, so as you can see, fires up, not a problem. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is uh, I'm going to take this for a test flight uh, with this battery mod and uh, see how long it flies for. Um, the original battery, like I said in my initial review, um, flew for 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes off a 1,000 milliamp hour. With this bat these batteries being 1,450 uh, milliamp hour, I should get well over 20 minutes. So it's going to be interesting to see. Considering you know, um, it's a it's it's a higher voltage and uh, it's a you know nearly an extra half battery increase in the milliamp hour. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, um, and uh, I'll go take it for a test flight and time the flight of the actual test flight, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll leave that for the next video on this one, guys, because if it does get a 20-minute, uh, I'm going to do a full flight uh, test of this battery. So um, it's going to be a long video. So I just thought I'll make this separate video showing you what I did with this battery mod for the Utota, I think it's called Utota 6857G drone, okay, GPS drone. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.